Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I was not expecting to film another video so quick, but um, instead of getting distracted by my phone, I decided to set it up and film while I put um, all of my floss from recent finishes away. I have my bins that I keep everything in, um, like all of my floss in, and all that um, around me, so, oops, so I just thought it would be kind of an easier easier thing to film and also so that I don't get distracted by my phone because that happens so so typically if it's a I also thought maybe I could go over how I store my projects. So if it's a smaller chart with not very many colors, I will use one of these smaller bags um, that are exactly like the bigger Amazon bags, just smaller um, to hold the floss. Hold on just a second. Maybe that will help the light situation, kind of. Okay, um, so I'll use one of these. For my forget-me-not piece, I, instead of referring back to the last page of the chart all of the time for, uh, like, which, for the color key, for the key, um, I, have labels this one did not come off great labels and I wrote down the symbols and the floss color and put it on here that way when I was looking for it I could find it a little better so um, I'm going to separate them all into where they need to be stored. I have different methods. Um, I have bobbins, I have floss drops. Um, my floss drops don't get hung anywhere at the moment. Um, if you remember before I moved, if you were with me that long ago, um, I had pegboards and I would keep some of my uh, some of my DMC on there. Um, which worked fine, um, except for my pegs weren't long enough for what I, like weren't big enough, they were really small, so I could only fit um, a few skeins, and so I couldn't fit like my whole, all of my floss that are on floss drops on there. I like bobbins for storing, but, um, and like for going through to find colors, but sometimes they're a little bit more difficult. Um, 
And I was just thinking, I don't have floss away bags in here. But like, what do I do with that? <laughs> I put it in a floss away bag, right? So gonna need to figure that out. I'll have to go grab them. They are out by my stitchy spot because they were in some drawers that I keep next to my stitchy spot typically because um, like my scissors and stuff. Okay. So these need to go to floss away. This, I feel like, would also do better in a plus way bag. Okay, so, I have these bins that I got from Walmart. They are the 2.7, I don't know, they're, they're the smaller size of the skinny ones. And this is what houses all of my fancy floss as well as my DMC that are on floss drops so um and I have them for my DMC I have them in cool tones and warm tones and then for everything else I have almost everything else I have cool tones warm tones and then neutrals or like really variegated floss that I don't know where like what um category it would go in like a lot of my forbidden fiber coats would be in that category so and then um my leo and roxy floss i don't have i mean i have quite a bit um but I didn't have enough space to do the three for that, for Roxy Floss. So I just did colorful and then um, neutrals. Okay. Now let's go by bobbins. Um, anyway... Sometimes I have a hard time with bobbins too because like I never, I feel like I never know how much is actually on a bobbin. But maybe that's just me. Uh, okay. A lot of these I had on bobbins before Before I started getting really into stitching and then <clears throat> excuse me I bought some floss off of someone from me from Facebook marketplace as well as um, a couple of these boxes and then my grandma also gave me all of her extra floss that she is never going to use because she doesn't stitch that often um, as well as all of the floss that was in her collection which was awesome I do know for a fact that somewhere I have all of the DMZ colors. I know that for a fact. However, I just don't know, like, not all, like, it's not all on bobbins, for example. But it also is not all on floss drops, so <laughs> it's kind of a gamble to figure out where... Well, that's not going to work. Okay. And then this box is mostly 
um, extra colors. And I don't put it into these, I just, are extra skeins of colors. So like, this is mostly my grandma's box actually. So there's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight skeins of 712 on here. Don't know when I'll need eight skeins of 712, but I have it if I do need it. There was one project that I needed 712 and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then she gave me that box and I was like, awesome. So, there's that, but now of course I don't need it because I, I think I finished that project actually. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> um, one of... I think I mentioned this in a video. One of my sisters-in-law um, had a friend whose mom was getting rid of a bunch of floss and it was all in floss away bags. So my sister-in-law asked if I wanted it because if she does embroidery or something, then she typically just goes and buys what she wants or buys what she needs. So she asked if I wanted them. And of course I said yes because who doesn't want free floss? Um, and I got these bins from Target that are just the right width for the flossway bags, and then I put them in numerical order. Um, And then there were these random, like, variegated that I have on a floss ring because they don't have a number. But they just hang out with all of the other ones. But I will say, having all of these in floss away bags um, has been really nice because, like, I didn't have to buy this color for one project and I just got to use, and because I used such a small amount, um, and it's an older skein, I don't feel, I don't know, I don't know, it feels, it feels kind of nice to be able to just use the small amount without having to go buy a whole new skein, so I am going to need those later. Um, and then sometimes <laughs> I buy extras and that's okay. <laughs> um, I do have this floss drop though that I think I'm going to put. the rest of this scheme on. Um, and for all of my extras, I don't need to do this part while you guys are on the camera, but it's fine. All of my extra DMC that is not on floss drops, not in flossway bags, and not on bobbins go in some Rubbermaid Rubbermaid? Rubbermaid take-along containers that are really old. Um, I think I've talked about it a little bit before. I learned how to make jewelry from one of my aunts and she put all of her beads in these containers for a while and then um, she got new containers she got like the three drawers to put all of her beads in and so she asked if I wanted the take-along containers for my jewelry stuff and I was like yes of course um, but then I stopped making jewelry and I gave all of my 
beads away and stuff, but I didn't want to get rid of the containers because I had started cross stitching by the time um, by the time I was giving away all of my stuff. So I kept it and I kind of just kept the organization the same too, which was just by color. So sometimes it is a little bit difficult to like go through and find the color you're looking for, but I actually kind of like it. I like searching through everything. I think it's fun. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing with this. I have to go through the whole thing in order to find the one, but I like it. I think it's fun. <laughs> um, so let's see, I need the rest. All right. And there are some of these that I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever use them, but I might, so. Okay, so there's all that. I did mention in my floss tip video that I went to buy all of the floss to kit up the Epic Pokemon patterns and I came out with some extras. Um, I have started, I'll show you this, I have started putting all of the floss that I need for my Epic Pokemon in a bag. I have not found the way that I like to organize my floss for full coverage pieces. So far, all of my full coverage pieces, except for my Augusta National, they're just chilling in bags like this. <laughs> so, I've thought about trying a different way, but I have no idea. Anyway, so I went through all of the floss that I bought. Um, Some of it went into that bag, and then um, I need to go through all of these other skeins for the rest of it. Um, maybe that's what we can do, too. And then you can kind of see how I find everything. <laughs> okay, that does not need to be put. Okay. So, on my iPad, I have the pattern, but I also have the floss list. So right now, all of the highlighted ones are the ones that are in the bag. Um, so... And um, there's a stitch count on here, which is really nice because then I know if I only need like part of a skein. So if on my bobbin I don't have a full skein, then typically I'm like, oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, so. It's also nice because the symbols are in the color that the floss is. So when I organize it by color, so like for example, I'm looking for B5200, I know that it is going to be in this container because this has my whites and blacks. Now, this needs a lot of B5200, so we just got new neighbors. I'm also kind of like, do I want to stitch all that white if I stitch it on white? But probably. 
So what I'm going to do is the three skeins that I do have, um, I'm going to put in this bag. And if I need more, then I can go buy more. But for now, that's what we're doing. Because we are in this box, also 310, I have a big cone of, so I'm not going to put that in the bag because if I just need a strand, I can go and get it off of the big cone that I have. Um, so we're going to mark 310 off even though it's not in there, but another color that is in this same box is 318 so instead of putting the box away i'm gonna see if i have 318. this is probably boring but hopefully you're stitching while i go through it So it's going to go in the bag and then I'm going to mark it off. And that's the process. So sometimes it's a little slow, but I actually thoroughly enjoy going through all of them. I don't know if I'm weird, but I like going through all of them. Sometimes I also mess up what I'm doing and I decide to just go through the colors that I'm going through and be like, oh, is this on there? I don't know if that really messes it up, but sometimes it makes it go faster. So for example, I know that this one has a lot of green in it. So I'm going to go through the greens and see if the color comes up in on my list. And do I technically need all of these colors right now? No. But. I like knowing that I have them. In my possession. What's your process like if you kit up a project? Do you have a lot of extra? Do you not have a lot of extra? So you go buy what you need? Are you not weird and don't feel the need to have five skeins of every color? <laughs> I 
I seriously am like, but what if I need it? Okay, go buy it when you need it then. <laughs> It's fine. I actually, I was able to get some of this with a voucher, so. I had, um. Oh my, I guess the National is gonna need another skein of that. Um. I had $15 of vouchers, so. It wasn't a complete loss. It's not really a loss either. These are all going to get used eventually. I also, when I buy floss, I would rather get too much of it than too little of it, especially if like the lot number changes or something. So that's also where some of my extra came from because I thought I was going to need more than I did. Um, what was really fun was trying to get all of my floss for, um, my catching rays pattern, which is my super big one that I don't know what I got myself into, <laughs> that is over a million stitches. <laughs> um, I haven't worked on it since February, I think, but... I still love it. I actually, I want to pull it out again. just feels like too much to pull out though. I don't know why because I'm only working on one color. I, I don't know. Sometimes it can feel too overwhelming. I didn't realize there was going to be so many blues in this one. One more gym, and I'm currently in the middle of doing like a side thing for it. Ooh. 
I have a Tim McGraw song stuck in my head because I was listening to it right before I did this. The song is Standing Room Only, in case you are curious or know Tim McGraw songs. Oh, Augusta National is also going to need that. See, it's a good thing I'm going through all these. Just telling myself that to make me feel better. <laughs> Without having so much. Okay. Obviously, some of these are purple, don't worry, they're not going in the blue bag. But I do need to decide which ones are more purple and which ones are more blue. Um, my thought process also is that if I don't have them in my stash right now, at least for this project, I'm not going to go and get them yet because I don't want to I don't know when I'm going to be starting this which doesn't make sense when I'm kidding it up but it's fine <laughs> because I like to I like to get things up I also like to unkit things. I'm weird. Does anyone else really like the process of kitting up or unkitting? Like putting all of your things away after you're done with a project? For some reason, I just really enjoy it. And I'm not like a super. Well. No. I'm not a, like a super organized like ever person. I try to be. <laughs> but um with my crafting things, I am more so. But with everyday things, not really. The box, or the bin almost fell off of my lap. The belly gets in the way sometimes. When you're not used to having it. I 
Um, speaking of, I have an ultrasound tomorrow. Um, so I get to see her cute little face again, which I'm really excited about. I know that I have this color, not that one, this one, and 444, four, four. what happened? I don't know, dang it. I thought I had it though. It's fine. I feel like I always end up buying the same shades of yellow and they're never the shades that I need of yellow. Like I always need 728. I never have 728. I always have 729 or 727. And I keep buying more. Stop buying those ones. You don't need them. Too close. Alright, well. My yellows were in there, so that's good. I should have put that other one in the bin. Oh well. I also am stitching this on 28 count. I will be stitching this on 28 count one over one, so I will probably need less floss than I'm thinking. because this has it on 18 count. So yes, my number of stitches, stitches will be the same, but my stitches are gonna be smaller. So probably won't need as much, right? I feel like I also tend to buy the same oranges. How many 946s do you need? Not this many. Why do I have so many 946s when what I really need is a 920 or something? 921. Alright. Oh, let's put this away. And while I still have the yellow uh, out, let's put the yellows. 
So, after this, this is all happening before 12 because for some reason, when my husband works super early in the morning, I cannot sleep past a certain time. Don't know why. Um, but it happens. So, I've already gotten a lot done today. And I still have a few more things to do, but I didn't feel like leaving the house just yet because I feel like I may also be missing something. So I'm trying to think of what I could be missing before I leave so I don't get back and then I'm like, oh crap, I was supposed to get that. Because once I come back, we live From like, uh, so like I have to go to the post office and I have to go to the UPS store today. Or I don't have to go to a UPS store, I can just go to a UPS drop off. But our nearest post office is about 20 minutes away. Um, we live kind of on the outskirts of town um, in a new community. And so, um, Max is sighing. Um, so usually when I come home, I don't want to leave again. <laughs> if I've already left for the day. So. Need to make sure that I have everything or that I get everything while I'm out. I do have that color. Okay, that's good. That is on. On a cone and we're going to make a note of that also by 310. Okay. I forgot. I bought a cone of 3371 and also 3799 and I was like, "Where is all my 3799? I haven't bought any in a while." That's why, because I have a cone. It's not as big as my 310 cone, but I have a cone of it, so I will have enough. But I had just stocked up on 3371 before I bought the cone of 3371, so we will still be using the skeins of that for a little bit. Okay. the etoile and so I'm like I know for a fact I'm not gonna need those when I'm looking for all of these um, oops for 
we're going to have to go back to highlighter. Some of these I bought when I was doing um, the Winter Wonderland pattern on the Silk app, and I don't need that many of this color anymore. This is a long video. We'll do an hour so that you guys have an hour of stitchy time. If you decide to watch the whole hour. <laughs> Most people don't. That's okay though. There are some people who do. I also know some of these are on bobbins or are on my floss drops, so. But I like to go through these first, just to see. Apparently I buy the same color reds over and over again too. What else? What else can I talk to you about for the next 10 minutes before? We turn this off. I don't know. Ooh, yay! I found one! I think that was like two bins or something without finding a color that I need. Oh, it's probably a good thing to end this at an hour anyway because I can't sit down for too long. So it'll be good to um, get up and move around for a minute. This little girl in here is a literal <laughs> pain in my side <laughs> right now. Love her to pieces. But sometimes I would like to not hurt. It's okay. She's trying to get comfy too. I don't blame her. She's kind of stuck and 
confined. At least I am not confined. real fast just because they're easy to go through and by number and it shouldn't take too long if I do it this way. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's a full skein or not. Okay, the other thing is like, sometimes I have skeins like this on bobbins. So I'm like, that's, that's not enough even for the amount of stitches that it's going to call for, I don't think. I don't know, it might be. But I really don't want to chance it because, again, what if the dye lot has changed? So... Those are really close to the same color. 8.29 and 8.30. You can't really see it from here, but they are very close, but different. Okay. I 
this probably is not as entertaining as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I don't know. This one maybe. Closer to the end. That's what I want. Nope. Sometimes I wonder how, <laughs> just how. I think it's mostly because I'm like, I know that you're somewhere, <laughs> but I just don't know where you are. Sometimes it helps to have the extras. Sometimes. <laughs> this video is probably going to take forever to upload. <laughs> here um and even if I don't end up posting it at least I was not even trying to look at my phone for the last hour and I did get something done and I got thread put away which is good and I got colors that I'm gonna need for another pattern out which is good Thank you for watching, even if you didn't make it all the way to the end. If you did make it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. I hope you remember that someone always needs you, and I will see you next time. Bye.